Hello everybody, we're gonna rename some more of my retired coats because I'm finally on my last farm. Last time we took a look at my retired coats that had less than 100 copies left. Well, the creation space coats because none of these were pre-creation space horses. So today we're gonna look at my, what was, oh, where'd that farm go? <laughs> my retired coats, these are creation space coats, the ones that are compatible with the Helios Ray that have over 100 copies left. I do not believe there are any that have probably, like I doubt this one dropped 34 copies, but you never know. However, if it turns out that I do have a coat that dropped to below 100 copies, then I will end up moving that coat into my less than 100 use RC. So we will do that if needed. So let's go ahead and get started. There are 53 horses in here. I don't think it'll take too long to go through these because none of these will have backgrounds on them. Unfortunately, I had a lot of fun looking through those other farms that did have backgrounds with the coats because I don't go through and look at all of them that often. And when it comes to your backgrounds, you have to actually look at the horse's page to see the background you have applied to it. And it's just a lot of fun to go through. Look at the different pairings and then listen to me try and remember whether I applied the background, whether I applied the coat, whether I bought the coat in the background as is. So today, no backgrounds, unfortunately. This horse, this one really needs a background. And I do have a lot of Helios Raisin stock that I could definitely go through. I'd, I'd have to make a several hour job of applying all the Helios Rays I have. 147. This one did not change at all. This one's just really pretty. I love the detail work on the hindquarters. I really like it when there are... I'm just going to call them cutie marks. Thank you, my little pony. Cutie marks on the horses or designs on them. And then there's some detail work in the mane and the tail too, which are really pretty. This one's beautiful. This is a fray coat. I applied this one. 233. So this one did drop here. 2233. I don't want to go through and change the name, but not actually change it correctly. <laughs> 167 for this one. This one I bought. I did buy this horse. That was 160. Yeah, let's double check that. 160. Okay, that was correct. <laughs> Have to make sure. This one's really pretty. I think this one is a Lissy coat. Let me check because I'm not positive. Yes, that is a Lissy coat. This one I bought from the sales. 364. I I don't think I actually applied any of the Lissy coats that I have unless they aren't retired. I'm not sure if Lissy has any coats that are... I don't know if Lissy comes out with coats that are not limited. Um, if I said that correctly, 137, that one, this is a coat that I applied on just a project horse. So cedar chest is not the name of the coat. This one, is this a fray coat too? Yeah, that is a fray coat. I can't quite see the herring detail, which is normally how I recognize most of Frey's creations. 137. Some of them, I think you'd almost have to be zoomed in a little bit to see it. That one's really cute. It took me a while to buy this one because I, at the time when I was hunting for fray coats, I did know that was a fray coat and I knew I wanted to buy it, but there weren't a whole lot in the sales. This is another fray coat. There's a horse version of this one and maybe a regular unicorn version because this is a winged unicorn version. And we looked at that in the first video I did about renumbering coats. Ooh, this one's really pretty. I remember I did buy this one because I stumbled upon it in either the retired coat gallery or the creation directories when I was looking through one day and I really wanted to buy this coat when I saw it. That one's really pretty. Ooh, this one's beautiful too. This one, I applied this one, 190. It's crazy how sometimes they drop so quickly and others, they don't drop very quickly. This one is very recent, this one. Um, I did have to go in and buy the coat because I wasn't paying attention and it retired very quickly, even though it's a 200, it was limited to 200 uses and I wasn't paying attention and it retired within just a couple of days of release. This is a Morel Darstail coat. We looked at a lot of these in the farm that had backgrounds paired with the coats. 274. 274. Yeah, most of my my Morel Darsdale coats, I had to buy the horses with the coats already applied because uh, most of them have retired before I started collecting. 268. 268. If I had started collecting back when I started playing, I wouldn't have the problem of having to go in the sales and buying a bunch of them. But I have to say that I think the hunt of going through the sales and finding the coats that you really want, that's a 
part of the fun for me. And that's actually what got me into collecting retired coats because it was so much fun to go through the sales and really look and try to see, oh, yep, that's that coat that I saw that one day that I really wanted. And then when you buy it, it's like a treasure hunt. That's like just part of the fun for me. 247. This one's really pretty. This is not... Okay, that's a Sid V coat. Sid V has a lot of really nice creations too. This one's like a perfect example. I think this one's gorgeous. 231. Two, two. That's two. Oh my gosh, I can't type today. 231. There we go. And then I put a decimal. Don't pay attention to me. I can't type. <laughs> this one's really pretty. Look at all the design work on it. And it has sparklies on it too. They're like little crystals. Actually, it almost reminds me of sprinkles. I don't know why, but it does. 372 for this one. That one did drop a little bit. 372. All right. Cosmos Walk. This one, I think I applied this one. 298. 289 now. So we just flip flop the numbers. 289. There we go. Yep, that one's another one that could do with the background. This one, I did apply this one. I love this coat. This one is just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. 165. 165. That one, I'm not really sure. There's a couple of backgrounds that I had picked out that I have favorited that I actually had in mind for another horse that I think would look good with this one. So I'll have to go through and look. Oh, this one's really pretty. This, this is one of those occurrences where I can't remember. I didn't even remember. I don't remember having this coat. 141. Therefore, I don't know if I applied the coat myself and I don't know if I bought it. This one's really pretty. And I'm not usually into pink, but that's really pretty. I remember this one, 248. 248. I think that B, that just means that it's bolded because a couple of years ago I was going through and trying to train up all of the horses on my account. And to know that I had actually bolded all of the skills, I was marking them all with a B. 183. But then I stopped training up all of them and bolding everybody's skills because I started adding more pass horses to my workload and a lot of them you know the process of actually boarding all of those horses to then train them was just really tedious and I thought you know what I'm just gonna put off building up the skills on all of the horses on my account until I can get Bucephalus and have that mass boarding perk this one might have been the first retired coat that I went and bought out of the sales because I needed that for a trophy a riding horse retired coat or golden apple or whatever 192 so this one was kind of the horse that got me started collecting. And the F, uh, which I think I talked about in my first video on renumbering my coats, just means that it's a foundation horse. But this one's really pretty. 238. 238. There we go. That one's really pretty. I like that one. Looks like it has some dapples in there. This one I remember buying. Is this a Robin Lara coat? Yeah, this is one of, of like the only creation space Robin Lara coats because most of their coats are pre CS coats, so you can't apply backgrounds to them. 403. Which is also why I passed this in the sale several times and I just didn't recognize it as a Robin Laura coat. This is another fray coat here, 172. I love this one. This one's just pretty. I love the pose. I love the colors, the shading. How many copies did that have? 172 because I forgot just after a few seconds. 172. I've had this one for a while because I had a hyphen in there and I don't do that anymore. Daily Riot for this one, 405. I think I applied this one, 405. This one's cute. I love the work. Oh, there's even uh, mapping in there uh, around the patterns. That's pretty. There's a lot of my shading with that one too. Oh, this one's pretty. They have a couple different versions of this coat. Some that are just riding horses. And there might be one that's just a unicorn or just a pegasus. I'm not really sure. But they're very different colors on the coats. So it's, you know, a very different looking horse, even though it's the same old. And I really like them. There's a riding horse version that I really want and I don't have it yet. 170. It's possible it's a less than 100 use coat. So it's been a bit more on the pricey side every time I see it. I think I applied this one. 177. This is really cool. It's like a carousel horse. 177. Yeah, 177. I just have to double check because every once in a while I forget. This one's pretty. Is this also a Lissy coat? Yeah, it is. It just has that really pretty regal look. But it didn't have some of the extra, I'm going to, I'm going to call it apparel, like some of the other coats that I, that I showed in my first video have. So for a while, I didn't recognize it as a Lissy coat. 204. 
That did not drop very much. 204. This is an older horse, too, because it has a companion on it. Yeah, 2011. Ooh, this one's really pretty. I like that one. Look at the face on that and the eye. That's so pretty. 141. You didn't drop too much. Who is the creator of this one? I'm not sure at all. I have no idea. Golden Boo. Hmm. I might have to look to see if they have any more creations. It's possible I own some more, too, and I didn't recognize it. This one's really pretty. I love this one. 412. I really like some of the coats that have extra details. Like this one has a little bit of snow and some butterflies to it. Because, again, this is something you could really have a lot of fun pairing with backgrounds. It looks like it might be like the beginning of spring with the snow. Yeah, so that one you could get really creative pairing with backgrounds. This one I quite like. I remember applying this one because I was looking at some of the uses on coats one day and I saw it was getting very close to retirement. So I went went ahead and I quickly applied the golden apple. This one, uh, I don't know if I bought this one or applied it because there's a few that I had my eye on it and then all of a sudden like people went and bought like the last hundred copies of the coat and I missed it and then I had to go and buy it. This one's pretty. This one, I definitely bought this one. I remember buying this one for 21 North Wind. I love the mane and the tail. It's all windswept. It's really pretty. Cultured, per cultured Pearl. This one I had talked about in my first Renumbering RC video because it has like a sort of horse that's a similar version. It looks very, very similar, but it's in a completely different pose and the shading and the tone is a little bit darker, I think, on the other one, 318. That one, this one is a project. So Cultured Pearl is the name of the horse and I did apply this coat, so... There we go. <laughs> that was a long explanation, 130. So this one only dropped four copies. Doesn't look like any of these dropped enough to get below the 100 copy mark. This one here is one that I bred because it has one of my affixes on it. 165. I don't know why I did not put the numbers. I bet some of this cannot fit. And I wouldn't be surprised if it won't let me do it because of the special characters. Yeah, so I must have had this for a while because a while back... Uh, because of security reasons with like where the fonts are hosted, you can't post certain characters on the game anymore. So I must have had that one for a while. This one came out in the most recent release. This one is gorgeous. I absolutely love this one. Ugh, I really need to get around and put, put a background with that one. This one, I did apply the coat for this one because I bred the horse, 159... So I must have bred it on Christmas and that's why I called it Christmas Point or it's like a Christmas unicorn or something. I don't know. This one, I did buy this one. I remember. Not very well, but I did buy this. 268. This one's pretty. Again, another one that is just screaming for a background. That one's really pretty. I love all the colors. This one, there is a horse version of this coat too. 149. But the color of it is a little bit different. So it's not like the exact same it's just the the mold is the same but the color is different and it's a horse coat this one's gorgeous pretty sure this one is another lissy coat yeah this one's really pretty 146 for the copies that one did drop a few 146 there we go that one's all changed that one's so pretty this one i love this one too oh my gosh the detail work on the mane and the tail and it has feathers on it oh this one's so pretty is this one also a lissy coat no it's not I just assumed Lissy because of the, like, the apparel on it. I wonder if this player has any more creations. This one's really pretty. I bought this one a few years ago. This is one of the earlier coats that I bought, 202. 202 for that one. It's just really pretty. Ooh, I love this one, too. Look at the mane and the tail on that one. 152. Let's go. Can I fit a space in there? Yes, we can. Why there wasn't a space to begin with, I don't know. Appaloosas, because I love Appaloosas, 176. I don't know if I... Did I buy this one or apply it? I'm not really sure with that one. Ooh, this one's cute. Who designed this one? Oh, that is a Robin Lara coat. Another one of Robin Lara's that is a creation space coat. And I think they have another version. Well, it's not even the same version. It's uh, like the actual mold is a little bit different, but it's a pre-CS coat. Unless the coat I'm thinking of is by a different creator. If that's possible too. I'm not really sure. 277. And that one's really pretty. I love that. Ooh, this one, this one, I applied the coat for this one. There's a couple different versions of this one too. There's a, I know there's a Pegasus one 
or it might be a winged unicorn. I just know there's one similar to this and it has wings on it. 326, this one, that's the name of the horse. I'm not going to put the number in there, I suppose. This one, there's a couple different versions of this one too. It's the same color. It's just, it has, there's one with the horn on it. Oh, this one does have a horn on it, but I think there's one that's just a Pegasus one. So this one's a winged unicorn or maybe there's a unicorn version. I'm not really sure because I think when I bought the horse, I hadn't realized that there was a horn there. And then I, it wasn't until I looked at the species that I saw it was a winged unicorn. 258, this one looks like another fray coat. I've got a lot of fray coats. Can you tell I like fray coats? <laughs> All right, 288 for this one. That one dropped quite a few, didn't. This one's really pretty. I like this. I actually really like the simplicity, I think, of black the black and the white coats. Or I don't I don't know that you want to say the simplicity of it because there's a lot of detail in this one. I mean, there's a lot of shading in it. There's a lot of detailed herring work with the feathers. I don't know if you want to say herring work with feathers, if that makes sense. But anyway, there's a lot of detail work in the feathers, but I just like how contrasting the black and the white can be on these coats. Just really pretty. 183, 177 now. This one's beautiful. 177. I really like this. I like Dapple Grays. This one's pretty. I think this is the last one in the bunch. Is this a Lissy coat? Yep. Yep, it is. <laughs> that one's really pretty. There's this one has a lot of detailed work to it. I mean, there's there's this red glowing right here, and I don't know that I've ever really discovered where the glow is originating from. I don't know if it's like the coat that's supposed to be glowing red, if it's the jewelry work, like these bracelets on here that's glowing. I don't know. The, I'm, I've been so curious about it and that's why I'm so drawn to this coat because you're just trying to figure out all the different parts that make up this whole. It's just really neat. That has 326, which I think I looked at and then I just completely forgot. 326. All right, I do believe that's the last one. Yep, so we're all the way back to the beginning. And thankfully, that is all of the coats that I have to remember that are in my actual dedicated coat farms. Unfortunately, I do have some other horses scattered here and there. Like there's some retired coats in here that I have to look at, but none of them are currently numbered. And I don't know, like these ones that have Apollo's layers on them. I don't think this one's retired though. That one's not a limited coat. That one I know is not retired. This one, I, I think this one's retired. Is this retired? Yeah, that one's retired. But because of, because they already have the layers on them, I'm not going to put the numbers on them. But I don't know. That I might have to do in my spare time or something. I'm not really sure. So that's it for all of the coats that I think I have to renumber. Thank you guys for joining me on the few farms that I showed. I did like three or four of them and then eventually I'll get around to showing you my favorite coats and my favorite horses and my favorite divines. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoy looking at some pretty coats and I will talk to you soon. Bye!